Scorpio. It's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a weekly reading for you. I'm using my pink and purple cards this week to get a question for you. If the question doesn't resonate, it's probably not your reading. So you can determine very early on if it's, you know, the right reading for you. Okay, so let's see what we have for Scorpio. Relationship union. Okay, so you might have a question about a, a relationship that you're in or if there's going to be a union between the two of you. All right, so the questions here are, what are our intentions long term? So you might have questions about what the intentions are long term in this relationship or in this connection. The follow-up question is, what do we need to discuss more than we do? Okay, so let's take a look at that. All right, so we're going to start off with uh, your beliefs, their beliefs around this relationship or union or connection. And then we'll take a look at the energy of the connection. All right, so this is your belief. This is your person's belief. And then this is the energy of the connection. All right, we're also gonna get some, some additional oracle cards for each romance angels card here just to give some extra clarification. Okie doke. All right, let's see what we've got here. Let's take a look at your beliefs first. What do we have? Scorpio. <clears throat> so this might be important, okay? We have the children card coming up in the reverse, okay? So your love life is being affected by children. I feel like either this is saying that you don't want your children to be affected by your love life, okay? Or you don't want children in this connection, or you believe that children are not going to be possible in this connection, all right? So what do we have here? Anxiety. This is something that gives you some type of anxiety when it comes to children or talking about children um, talking about the children you already have, how you don't want them affected by your love life, or the fact that, you know, you're worried that your partner may want children and you do not, okay? This isn't going to apply to everybody, all right? Let's see for your person, what is their belief in this connection, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. I feel like your person believes that the two of you need some quality time alone together. Okay, so let's see. What else? A text. Hmm. I feel like this person feels like the two of you need some time alone together to specifically talk about something that maybe the two of you started talking about in a text conversation or something that was brought up and maybe not answered. Okay, so let's see, the connection. What do we have for Scorpio and their person? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, so within this connection, you know, there might be something, you know, around children especially there might be something, you know, obviously we have this question here, what are our long are our intentions long term? So there's an issue possibly talking about what the intentions are long term. Maybe it's difficult for you to talk about this, maybe it's difficult for your person. Um, I feel that your person might really want to take some time out with you and kind of figure this out. This might be something that scares you. This might be something that 
maybe you have a lot of anxiety around. Let's see, what do we have here? Shared. Okay, so what that is telling us here is that both of you are seeing some red flags here within this connection. It doesn't mean that there aren't mutual feelings, that there isn't a mutual connection, but it's saying that something here really needs to be addressed. Okay, so it makes sense why this card might have come up. So I feel like this is around intentions when it comes to a long-term connection together. Okay, so what are our long-term intentions with each other? Let's see. Long-term intentions can certainly be affected by, by children or not wanting children or already having children. Okay, so let's see. What are the long-term intentions here? All right, so we have three of cups. So, you know, this card absolutely can mean a celebration. It might be saying that You know, eventually we will have something to celebrate here. It could mean that we're going back and forth between a friendship and a love connection, and we're trying to find peace with that. But let's see, what else? Knight of Cups, Card of Pisces. Okay, so you might be celebrating with a Pisces at some point here. I feel like when, when there might... If there are secrets involved around this connection, um, it feels like when we can be open and free with our cup of love for each other, that's when we have the opportunity to celebrate here. You might have long-term intentions towards a Knight of Cups, a Pisces. And then we have the Two of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so there is some resistance here. There's, you know, some resistance in this love connection between the two of you. So when Two of Cups is in the reverse, you know, are we, are we seeing long-term intentions here? It's hard to say. And then we have Two of Pentacles. Somebody is juggling... You might be juggling, your person might be juggling, um, or stalling. Stalling, talking about our long-term connections. Because the two of you, both of you, do see some red flags in this connection. You know, the red flag for your person might be that you're stalling. Okay? The red flag for, for you might be around children. And then we have the Page of Cups. Hmm. So pages, right? The pages are messengers. This is a message, an emotional message. Let's take a look at that right off the bat because that card made me pause. So what do we have here? The lovers. So I feel like there is some type of pause around, you know, you might be dealing with a Gemini, but there might be some type of pause when it comes to the physical connection between the two of you. There's a message being sent. There's a message being sent around the physical connection between the two of you. Somebody might be withholding that physical love or that physical part of the connection or might be very reticent about making that physical connection together. 
Somebody might be stalling the physical connection here, resisting. So this is something that probably there might be a challenge in the physical department here in some way that is affecting our ability to really look at the long term. That could be a red flag for somebody around the physical connection. There might be um, a red flag around a particular text that came from your person or a red flag around children. So, two of pentacles. All right, six of swords. What is being stalled? Moving forward. So, both of you might feel like Um, both of you might feel like you have, that you're kind of just floating, like you're not, you're not really moving towards what it is that you want with each other. You both might be feeling that way. All right. Um, fool in the reverse. And you know what? Both of you are comfortable with the situation the way it is. Okay, so I don't feel like either one of you are particularly comfortable talking about long-term plans. Even though there might be a celebration, there might be a, a beautiful outcome at some point, I feel like both of you are very happy to just float in the situation that you're in right now. You're comfortable in the situation that you're in in some way. So let's take a look at the two, two of cups in the reverse, which says you're both resisting something. Hierophant. Okay, so one or both of you might be resisting talking about long-term plans or marriage and commitment. You're resisting that. What else? The moon. Okay, this is another card of Pisces. You, Scorpio, might be resisting a Pisces because of marriage. Possibly potential marriage between the two of you, or possibly because somebody is married. This card is, you know, this is, this connection is in some way kind of caught in a fearful cycle right now. Or this relationship is being hidden. Hidden, possibly this connection might be hidden from a marriage. All right, so let's look at that Knight of Cups. Death card in the reverse. So that's your card. So first of all, if you are dealing with a Pisces, If a Pisces is asking you to change in any way, you are resisting that. Okay? I feel like you're digging in your heels. You are refusing to transform in some way. Let's see. What are you what are you refusing or blocking here? Wheel of Fortune. You feel the pull of destiny. They feel the pull of destiny. If Knight of Cups is rep representing a secret love for you, you feel pulled towards them. The Wheel of Fortune wants to move forward here. But you both have shared concerns or feelings like there are a lot of red flags here. It's like, are we going to pay attention to the red flags or no? Let's get one more on the Wheel of Fortune. Justice. So another card of marriage. So I really feel like there's somebody here that you are feeling drawn towards, you're feeling pulled towards, they're feeling pulled towards you. I feel like marriage is the issue here. You know, as far as what are our, our long-term intentions here with each other, 
The reason that that's not being talked about is because whatever your situation is right now, you are somewhat comfortable in. So let's take a look at what needs, well actually let's do one more card on the Three of Cups. Four of Pentacles. I feel like the celebration of the Three of Cups is going to be withheld until one or both of you break out of feeling comfortable with the way things are right now. So if you're wondering why things aren't being discussed, and I feel like your person might be in that energy more than you even, um, until we get out of this comfortable space, whatever that is, whatever we're comfortable with, until we address some type of issue around the, the physical connection here, maybe the sexual connection, um, we're going to stay right in this energy. It does give you anxiety. The moon, what is the true fear? Seven of Cups. The true fear is about a choice in love. So that's either on your end or on your person's end. Like the, cho the choice of this connection is hanging in the balance and you both know it. All right, so let's see what needs to be discussed more than we do. Five of Cups, the Chariot, Card of Cancer, and look at that, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so what needs to be discussed is what both of us will lose and what both of us will gain <clears throat> should we follow our heart's desire and this pull of destiny. So I feel like there's something that both of you would lose if we move forward with long-term intentions and there's something both of you would gain. All right, so let's see. I actually just, I want to pull... What we would lose, what we would gain. All right, three of wands. Look at that, six of cups. So what we would lose, what we would give up, okay, or what we would, yeah, what we would lose. We would lose this energy of waiting, waiting for whatever it is that we both want long-term. So we wouldn't have to wait anymore if we discussed this, if we discussed in detail what would be lost and what would be gained. What would be gained is a true soulmate connection here. Wheel of Fortune. Look at that sun. The wheel is pulling you, pulling you out of this stagnant place because the universe wants both of you to be happy and joyful in this soul connection. The universe doesn't want you sitting around waiting, waiting for something to happen, waiting for, you know, these signs to come to fruition. These signs are showing up because the universe, we've seen the Wheel of Fortune twice. The universe wants the two of you to address this because it feels like a celebration or a very happy outcome is what the two of you have to look forward to. But because both of you are in such a comfortable energy with each other in some way right now, sometimes comfort doesn't equal good. But it, it, it's like it's working right now in some way. All right. So let's see. Let's see what we have here. All 
All right, so one for Scorpio, one for Scorpio's person. Sun is card of Leo. Again, Sag, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini are the, the signs that I saw here. All right, Scorpio and Scorpio's person. And we'll see what we get. All right, so for you, what do we have here? A beautiful face. All right, so either you, you know, this might be that you are very focused on the beautiful face of your person. Okay, going back to that physical energy here, you know, you might want to be more intimate or you might want to be less intimate. I feel like in most cases it's more intimate. All right, you're very focused on desire in some way. Your person, unrequited desire. So this person might have... Um, might be afraid in some way of deepening the physical intimacy. That might be an issue. I feel like you, um, you know, and this could be reversed for some of you. This person is very afraid that you may lose desire for them or that you, that you don't desire them. Let's see, what do we have here for you? Delusion. Intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. So, you know, what are our intentions long term? So if you don't or aren't able to surrender to what your true intentions are, it can lead to delusions in this connection. It's like, and that's basically saying, if you're not living your truth, what do we have here for your person? Freedom. I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good. Release me from its bonds. So if the two of you are stagnating, you know, I feel like your person is more in the energy of wanting to move this forward for some reason. And if they can't, you know, if we can't, you know, take a retreat and disconnect from the world and really talk about something, maybe something that came in through a text, they no longer want this fiery ring of resentment that's building. There is a ring of resentment possibly building especially if they don't feel desired or they're afraid to explore their desires for you. It's like if they can't have it all, they want to be released from it. That's why it's important to discuss the long-term intentions. It's important that we, we discuss these red flags that are both waving in our faces, but we're too comfortable to do that right now or it's too scary to address it. But it feels like it's it needs to be addressed. All right, Scorpio, that is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, certainly reach out. If not, no worries. I will talk to you next time. All right, thanks so much. Bye.